Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. A few weeks ago, we built an AMD-based sleeper rig, and this week we want to show you some components that we picked out to help round out that sleeper rig theme. When choosing sleeper components, there are a couple approaches you can take. One, you can buy modern components that are very unassuming, but the problem with that is typically they are very underperforming as well. The second approach you can take is you can buy older components that were very well performing for their time but retain that old feel. We did a mixture of both approaches and we'd like to start by showing off our mouse. The one we picked out is the SteelSeries Sensei. And while it does have LEDs and it's black, you can turn the LEDs off and it has a very discreet look to it that most gaming mice don't. Now to give you a brief overview of the Sensei, I will tell you a few things I like and dislike about it. The things I like are, first of all, the build quality and the very discreet look. The LEDs, even though they're not what we're looking for necessarily, have a very nice glow pulse to them that isn't really intrusive, so I did like that. It also responds very well, and it actually has this very nice braided cable. While that necessarily doesn't go with our sleeper style, it does have another sense of high quality to it. And in fact, Josh uses this same mouse on a day-to-day -day basis. The things I didn't like about it is it is heavier than the mouse I was used to using and it's actually not adjustable on its weights either. It's a preset weight and that's not a terrible thing, but it's something you're going to have to know going into it. You have to be comfortable with a medium weight mouse. Another thing I didn't like about it is though the buttons on the side are in a nice place on your right hand side, I found myself from time to time bumping them on the left hand side with my thumb, which was kind of annoying and I eventually got used to having them there and I was able to avoid that, but again, that's something you're gonna have to grow accustomed to. Overall, I think it is a fantastic mouse and I'm actually gonna use it for my primary desktop and switch my primary desktop mouse to my travel mouse. Next up on our list is addressing the monitor. Now that may be very controversial and you may think we are going to go with an old school CRT monitor. And while there was one we really wanted to consider, it's actually a 27 inch widescreen CRT, it's absolutely massive and it costs like $1,400 used. And that just wasn't in the budget and it wasn't in keeping with the whole price to performance thing we're trying to keep going. So what we did was we took a regular monitor, regular LCD monitor, and we installed the classic themes on it and we topped it off with a Windows 98 wallpaper. Um, we're gonna post links in the description as to how to do this, but it's very simple. Basically, you download some files and click and drag them into the source location for the themes in your Windows experience. This is on Windows 10 and they stopped supporting classic themes all the way back with Windows 7. So this is what you have to do in order to get it to work. While this isn't a perfect rendition of an old school computer and operating system because of the components on the taskbar, it's still gonna give anyone looking from a small distance that feel that you are running on some pretty lousy hardware. Next up is our keyboard. And I saved that for last for a very good reason. Mechanical keyboards have really come to the forefront of the gaming experience for their tactile feel and their responsiveness. There really aren't any out there that don't look aggressive. There are some that look sleeker, for example, the Cooler Master Quick Fire that I have and Josh has and the one we gave away. It really still looks new and we really wanted to keep the old school theme going. So what we did was we got one of the oldest mechanical keyboards ever made it's the IBM Model M keyboard. Now I know what you're thinking. I know it looks terrible and it's gonna be a very intrusive piece for people to put on their desks. But believe me when I tell you, this is definitely one of the best mechanical keyboards that I have ever used. What sets this mechanical keyboard apart from others is the switch is very simple. It is essentially just a spring that when depressed, flaps a toggle to make the connection on the circuit board. Now I could go on a tangent about this keyboard, but all the information I would give you is available on the internet. And you guys can search for yourselves on forums and websites to see how to mod, maintain, and clean these keyboards to optimize your experience. These are by no means your only options for sleep rig peripherals, but we feel that this mouse keyboard and windows theme are a really good springboard for you to start your own sleeper rig. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, leave a comment, and join our forum community at techtested.io.